Hello brothers and sisters. Hello everyone out there. Welcome to this channel. Keep looking up for Jesus. That's what we do. That's what this is all about. And he is the one we exalt here on this channel. He is the one who we give praise and, and honor and glory to on this channel. And we point you to Jesus. If you don't know him, we encourage you to come on in. <laughs> come on in. Open up your heart to Jesus and come on in. <laughs> The water is nice and warm here. It's like when you're stepping into that, that uh, the swimming pool that's really, really cold. And then when you get in, oh, it's so beautifully, comfortably awesome. And you're wondering, what was I so afraid of? It's, it's, it's very nice. Yes, get into the river, the river of life where it flows freely to those who are willing to come. And that river of life is the Holy Word of God, Jesus Christ, who is the Word. And the Word was with God. The Word was God. I didn't know any of that was going to be spoken of in this video. All I know was I was going to say to you, are you telling everyone about Jesus? Are you aware who he is and what he did for you on the cross? I kind of knew something like that is what I'm going to talk about. But I did not know we were going to get into the water. The river of life is, is all it takes for you to have life. And you know what? The river of life, to me, I've been feeling this in my spirit, is when you worship the Lord, when you exalt His name, when you give Him praise and thanks, that brings life into us. It revives our spirit. It feeds your soul inside. And that's where we find life. I feel like the, the, the longer we stay and live in this world, the more we need to sing glory and praises to our Lord and exalt His name on high. And we will have more and more life life in us as we feel the dread coming upon this world. No, we are to stand for Jesus. We are to stand up for his holy name. We are to exalt his holy name. Exalt the name of God. How does that song go? And worship at his footstool. Worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Holy is he. Yes, exalt the Lord our God. Sing with me. Exalt the Lord our God. And worship at his footstool. Worship at his footstool, holy is he, holy is he. What he did for us on the cross is everything we need, is the unspeakable human sacrifice that he gave for us. He came to this world, God in the flesh, to give his life for us on the cross. 100% God, yet 100% man, to save us from our sins. A perfect sacrifice, Jesus Christ. He sinned not, ever. That's why he was the perfect sacrifice. That's why God had to come to save the world through through man, he became man, Jesus, God in the flesh, the one who knew no sin, became sin. He took our sins upon him so that we may have life and life more abundantly. Life in heaven with Jesus. Life through the Holy Spirit living in us when we accept him into our hearts and our lives to be our Lord and Savior. When we believe in him. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, are you a whosoever? Hmm, if you're breathing, you're a whosoever. <sighs> whosoever shall call upon his name, the Lord Jesus will be saved. It's time. Somebody out there is hearing this message. Somebody out there needs to hear this message. Somebody out there knows this message. God is calling all of you to come to the cross and seek his face and ask him, what is your part in this world of this mess going on? If you don't know him, your part right now is to get on your knees and repent, turn to Jesus, meaning turn away from your sins and look to Jesus. 
call upon him, seek his face, and let him guide you on that narrow path of righteousness that will lead you to heaven. And he may have a, a mighty job for you ahead that you don't even know yet, but he'll place it right before you if you ask him, what, what, what shall I do, Lord? Here I am. Send me. Be willing to be a willing vessel. Be willing to serve him. But more than anything, be hungry for the truth that will set you free from your sins. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. By what Jesus did on the cross, that's our freedom from this world of sin that will take us into hell for all of eternity. What Jesus did frees us from that horrible place called hell and from the evils of this world. And he takes us with him to heaven when we rise up in glory, whether we it's when we take our last breath here in this world or for the rapture of the church to be risen up with him. Jesus was the first fruits. Yes, he died and he rose again. And when he rose again, he was the first fruits of the body of Christ. Those who know Jesus will be risen up to heaven one day soon. Are you ready? If you don't know Jesus, you're not ready. So I implore you, call upon his name today. He loves you so much. Whoever you are, he loves you. I don't care what nationality you are. He doesn't care. The word of God cares about you and your soul because he created you. Remember, he's God. He created you for such a time as this. There's somebody out there that you will lead to you will lead to somewhere when you call on Jesus. You're going to lead them to be curious. You'll be dropping seeds just by the fruits of your spirit accepting Jesus. So please turn away from your sins and look to Jesus. Call upon his name. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. We're told that in the Holy Word of God, Romans 10, 13 and John 3, 16. The whole Word of God is speaking to you if you open it up and you read it. And it'll convict your heart that there is a God and that Jesus is real and that he really is the Son of God who God sent to save the world from their sins. There is no other name given by men under heaven whereby we must be saved. Acts 4.12 will tell you that. That name is Jesus. There's power in that name. There is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, there is. I felt the Holy Spirit all over me in church today when that name was lifted up. And, oh, was that name lifted up. And it was it was just so powerful. I, I, I can't even tell you. Jesus needs to be exalted. And worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Exalt the name of God. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Holy is he. Jesus loves you no matter who you are. He died for you on that cross to save you from your sins. It would take you to a horrible burning lake of fire in hell. Please believe in Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Again, I tell you, no matter who you are, he died to save even you. There's nothing you've done. There's nothing that can stop you from being saved through the blood of Jesus. If only you'll just believe and call upon his name to be saved. I pray this helps somebody come a little bit closer or a lot to be closer to know the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, as your personal Savior. God bless you all. Jesus is coming extremely soon. We pray it could be today. But if it's not today, hold that fast which you have, that no man take your crown. Keep believing in Jesus. Don't ever give up on Jesus, because he'll never give up on you. Okay, Jesus loves you, and I do too.